Welcome back to Critterland. Well, I am so excited for today's video. It took a while to put together, but I'm so happy. It was so fun. I've got all of my critters out and I'm gonna do an entire collection video updated from my last one with every single critter and pretty much all the buildings uh, that I were able to, that I was able to squeeze on the table. And during this tour, I am actually wearing this custom t-shirt that my friend Ella sent to me as a gift, which was super sweet and I love it and I wear it all the time. And she makes other cool critter stuff too that you can check out. So there's a lot of ground to cover, as you can see. We'll start over here in the little town area. These are the Puddleton Ducks, which actually came out in 1988. And these are the re-released ones that came out uh, last year, or the year before, I guess. And here are the Tuxedo Cats, very beautiful. Mine are from 2015. Here are the Marshmallow Mice. These came out around the time of the town sets, and they're dressed very similarly. We have some little baby mice down there. These are the little concert figures that came in the town series. We have Mr. Lion, the pianist, and his hands are shaped uh, special for the keyboard, for the piano keys. And we have our chocolate rabbit violinist and silk cat cello player. And the midnight cats, which are very similar to the tuxedo cats, except they're all black. They're very much like the father, except the father has a different color of ear. And I love their beautiful dresses. They they're kind of have a, a magician theme going on with the little baby in the hat. And here are some town figures. This one is the uh, Stella from the designer studio. This was actually the first town set that I ever got because originally I wasn't sure I was going to collect the town series until the beautiful figures wooed me. Here is the Maple Cat, for example, one of my most favorite. And then of course the Maple Cat family and the Caramel Dog, older sister. Here is the Handsome Brother. This is one of the newer Town Series dolls that have come out. Uh, it came with three dolls from Mac the Macavity Cat Brother and the Persian Cat Brother. I shot a really cool video on the Town Brothers and the Town Sisters a while ago, and I have yet to edit and post it. But those are the cool Handsome Brothers, and it looks like this one is on a date with Carmel Sister. Here is the elegant Town Manor, Stella. She is stunning, just so beautiful. And this is the elegant town manor, this purple house, which is really beautiful. It's small, but it's just gorgeous. I love it, love it. I think at this point I have most of the buildings except the restaurant and the gelato shop. Here is the fashion boutique Stella. She came with this little building, which is one of the more recent. And then the Tuxedo Cat Sister came with the Fashion Playset suitcase. This is the cute couple, uh, Cinnamon Rabbit. He has a unique design on his ear. It is completely covered in the chocolate color. And he is an older brother size. And then the cute couple, Stella, which has an amazing dress. And both of them have hands that are made to be held, which is cool. And here is our older sister, Silk Cat. And then the flower gifts, older sister, Milk Rabbit. She is probably my favorite of all of the town series older sisters. Here is the Persian cat family. Came out shortly after the town series and is styled very much in the town series look. That's father. And here's a little costume cutie baby um, that came in uh, a blind bag series. I've already shown you the brother. And then here is the fashion playset, Persian cat, older sister. Again, one of those suitcases. Here are the sisters that came in the Persian cat family. And another set of sisters, which came with the deluxe celebration home, that pink uh, set of buildings over there. They are absolutely stunning. I love these outfits. They're a little different than what we normally see the Persian cats wearing. And then this one came with that Red Roof Tower home gift set and looks identical to the other sister, except for her shawl. These are the Fashion Play Set and Older Sister Town Mice. What else do we have here? Here is the Boutique uh, per teak Persian Cat and a bunch of Persian Cat babies that came in various sets. 
This one came with the Dream Princesses set. And here are the little triplets. The one with the striped uh, outfit came with the Raspberry Home gift set. Here are the Waddle Penguins. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. They're just so unique, so cool. And they're in this section because they kind of have a town vibe, especially the father with his little fancy vest on. And over here we have the Cloverleaf Manor, the big yellow building, and the McCavity or Sandy Striped Cats are hanging out up here. Here is the Dream Princess McCavity Cat Baby. These are absolutely beautiful. I love their markings and coloration. She was a costume cutie, and now she's wearing the little bathroom uh, dress. This is the sister. They just have beautiful outfits, very like seaside, here is the Brightfield Goat family. Very beautiful. This one is a 2021 set, and this mother is one of my top five favorite figures. Everything about her is amazing, and her dress is just stunning. It is such a cool, beautiful style, and it suits her so well. She has a beautiful, soft face with pink detail. She is so pretty. And also the little sister, um, Goat is just beautiful. Her dress is so beautiful how it bunches up and has that lace detail and little beads. So pretty. Oh, and that little baby. Here are the bamboo pandas. Uh, they came out in 1992 originally. Mine are of course an older or newer version, but they're very uh, fancy looking. I love them. And the pookie pandas, I kind of held off on getting because their clothing is, is a little different, um, but they do match the town series really well, so I ended up getting them, and they're unique. The colors of the clothing probably aren't my favorite, the way they go together, but I just think it's a beautiful family altogether. This is from the Panda Girl bicycle set, and this little baby came in this toy set, which I still can't find the name of, uh, but I put a picture up for you. So I think that's everything up to this point on the table. So we will move over to this half of the table. Here are the uh, silk cats. These babies came in various sets. And over here is the silk cat family. Beautiful, beautiful. I love their clothing. Uh, they, it's just a more uh, retro kind of style. This one came with the Hillcrest home. It came with the sister and the baby in the pink dress. These are the ice skating friends, Silk Cat and uh, Chocolate Rabbit. And this one came in the seaside camping set. So lots of silk cats. I love their pattern on their ears. Here are the Cottontail Rabbits. These are another older family, but mine are newer. These are from 2016. And the Lavender Rabbits, ah! Probably my favorite family, definitely my favorite rabbit family. Um, my first big splurge for Sylvanians. And they are hanging out on the original carport home, and that is the original carport. They're actually standing on the new carport that belongs to the blue carport home, which is over here. And they are both very cool houses. And then over here is the chocolate rabbit family and various chocolate rabbits. She came with the Seaside Birthday set. This one is our newest Freya, and she came with the new uh, Playful or uh, Starter set, uh, Red Roof Home. She came with, uh, oh gosh, I think the Red Roof Home gift set. And she came with uh, the Halloween trick-or-treating babies. And this one came with the Royal Carriage. Of course, we have the triplets down there. And more chocolate rabbits. Uh, the ones in the back came with the carport gift set. We have some others. Over here are the babies. So many chocolate rabbit babies. This one is our oldest and came with the used carport that we bought. And then we have a whole slew of standing babies. Different nursery sets and furniture sets and whatnot. Down here are the reindeer family. Another new family came out last year. And this one came with the reindeer scooter beautiful family. And over here, speaking of the reindeer, is Mr. Lion and his winter sleigh set with a little baby cub lion. So beautiful. All right, over here we have the French Bulldogs. Oh my gosh, these are another new family from 2022. 
so beautiful. They come in two different styles, the black and white and the all white. Over here we have the squirrel family. Here is Father Squirrel dressed up in the hot dog, uh, the hot dog band stuff with the apron and the visor. The squirrel family is just iconic. Hey Bella. And we have a bunch of babies from various sets. And over here we have two uh, squirrel sisters from the treehouse gift set and a Japanese furniture set. Over here we have the kangaroos. Our poor kangaroo mother got her ear chewed up by the dog that you just saw walk by. And the alpaca family, a very unique, very cool family. And then over here are the sheep. We have the sheep family and the uh, popcorn bicycle sheep mother. Beautiful outfit. And I love the headdresses. Over here we have the celebration chocolate rabbits. They came in a big set with the whole family, including the triplets. And I put them next to the Deluxe Celebration Home because they are also a celebration set for the 35th anniversary. And here are the chocolate grandparents. And a closer look at the celebration chocolate rabbits. We've got uh, the younger siblings, the older sister. We have brother and sister, all three babies, and even the little triplets. These are the Marguerite Easter rabbit siblings. And then the Marguerite family. The Marguerite rabbits are absolutely beautiful. They have this amazing peach pink color uh, and a beautiful pattern on their muzzles, beautiful outfits. This is such a beautiful family, one of my all-time favorites. They are sitting on the Hillcrest home. Over here are the deer. Uh, mine are from 2019. I got mine from Japan, and this father is pictured in the school bus marketing photos. So my son insists that when he plays with the school bus, he has to be the driver. So I think that's everything over there. And over here is our little camping and lake area that I set up. We've got the Woodbrook Beavers hiking set over here. This came with the baby and older brother beaver. Super adorable. These are our only Woodbrook Beavers. And back here we have the skunks. This is the 2003, uh, I'm sorry, 2010 Flare uh, skunk family with the gripping hands. And then here are the moles. Uh, these are a brand new re-release of one of the oldest families that they ever put out. And they are just adorable. And they were so true to the original family. It's almost identical to the 1985 family. And they are in the treehouse. I love this. This is the adventure treehouse. And here we have the koala family. We have mother and uh, two babies. Um, these are the sloths. Uh, these are brand new to us, and they came out in 2020. They were put out as a, an exclusive Japanese uh, set, but then they were later put out other places. And it comes with two seated babies. So the sloths are very unique. They're really, they're cute. They're, they're just very different. They've got very big round heads. Just want to cuddle them up. And he's got a cute little bandana on that kind of matches the French Bulldogs. So as I mentioned, this is the Adventure Treehouse. This is the older of the two. There's a newer one that has the same name. I kind of set up a little campground around it. And I really love how it's got this little grassy area underneath and multiple levels and that little tiny house on top. Over here is the latest Lakeside Lodge and it came out in new colors. And I'll show you the earlier one here in a sec. But this is the gift set that came with this entire Sunny Rabbit family, which is so cool. Here in the U.S. it had all four figures in the gift set, including the little baby. And it's a really unique rabbit family. Um, and this Lakeside Lodge is a uh, re-release of the older one, which is this one here with the red roof. But instead, as you can see, it's got the green roof and blue door and red windows. So it's really neat to have both. Over here are the Splashy Otters, and they are on the Secret Island Playhouse. Very cool little set. It's uh, just, it's different. It's very different, very colorful, very fairy tale, and I really uh, like this set. Uh, here is the Costume Cutie Neptune Otter. This is different from the Splashy Otter family. And here uh, is the Neptune Otter family. They uh, are still in the package. Uh, we will open them soon. 
but they've got the gripping hands. They are a flare set, very different from the splashy otters. Over here we have the farthing or maroon dogs, the red pandas. This is going so quick I can't talk about all of them, <laughs> but these are the mulberry raccoons uh, that came with the motorcycle and sidecar. Uh, these were on my top five forever. This motorcycle is super cool with the sidecar. And they currently live in the Bluebell Cottage. So you can check out my video on that. That's a really neat little house. Kind of hard to set up. It's got an awkward layout on the first floor, but it's so beautiful. This is the 2021 or 2022 version uh, from the UK that I ordered from Sylvanian Storekeepers. Here are the Border Collies. This was a gift from my husband. This is a USA set that came with all six critters with the two babies included there. And here is Cherry from Cherry's Day at the Seaside. She comes with a swimsuit and she's got the gripping hands. So this is a flare figure and she's got a little uh, defect there on her face. Up here we have the Seabreeze rabbits. We have both versions of the Seabreeze rabbits. They're technically the Yokohama Seabreeze. This is the family of five, the older one that came with the father, uh, mother, siblings, and the baby which, oh my gosh, and in this family, they all have these little hats on. Here's the brother from the, uh, well, here's all of them. The mother and the two siblings are here. This is the older Seabreeze family and the father and baby there. Over here is the newer one from Japan. Uh, these uh, come with four and they're just different. They're the exact same critter, but different outfits and they're all amazing, all of them. I think the, the girl in the dress is probably my favorite because it's so retro. And here is my oldest building, the Deluxe Country Manor or Mansion. And here are the Nona Hana Wildflower Rabbits, which are still in the box, but these are from 2004. We have the Waters Beavers, originally from 1988. Of course, these are the uh, brand new, pretty much brand new uh, re-release, but they're so beautiful. A very like vintagey looking uh, dress there. They just do so well with these colors. Critters are just beautiful. And father has a little green and yellow outfit on with buttons and his little buck tooth. So beautiful. And you can see the difference there uh, in the color between the waters and the woodbrook. And they have different shaped ears as well too. Here are the caramel dogs. The, they are uh, fairly new uh, as a family. And then the chiffon dogs. Uh, these actually came out in 2008. I, I think mine are from 2019, but I'm not quite sure. And this baby was actually one of the uh, costume cutie uh, babies. Here are our monkeys. This is a USA set, came with three, and the sister is, is not wearing her normal outfit. The huskies, a brand new family, one of my favorites, so beautiful. I love their furry little outfits and their little um, fuzzy tails. And they have different coloration between the uh, males and females. And here is the Dream Princess Husky Baby. And it comes with little triplets. This is two sets. You get, get the triplets and the parents in one and then the two siblings in another set. All right, well, here is the Royal or Regency Hotel or Grand Hotel. It goes by a few different names. It's just so detailed. I did a few videos with this one. And here are the Snow Rabbits. This one came with the Bluebell Cottage gift set. And then this one came with the Carport Home, the new Blue Roof Carport Home gift set. This is the Easter Snow Rabbit. Uh, that came with the little uh, egg hunt set. So cute. And we have the Dream Princess one. Uh, and then this one came, I think, with Sophie's Love and Care. And then this one came with that toy set uh, that included the little uh, crawling panda baby. So those are the snow rabbits. And down here we have the Chantilly cat that came in the garden barbecue set. This was put out in 2005 and then again in 2016 with the flat hands. And these two little babies came in a play set that came from Japan that I got used with the carport gift set. 
And then here is Suzette who came with the Regency Hotel. And over here we have the giraffes, an amazing new family. Uh, mine came from Japan. And then the trunk elephants, uh, ours are the 2016 Calico Critters version. So fancy. And over here are the meerkats. Ah, I love the meerkats so much. These are the Calico Critters version from 2021. And back here are the uh, Easy Buy elephants that came in a few different sets. And then our lovely unique guinea pigs from the Patty and Peyton stroller set. How amazing is she? I would love to have the guinea pig family one day. They're quite old. She has a beautiful dress. She's so like chubby, <laughs> just so cute. And these babies are both seated. Very cute. Oh my gosh. And then here is our toy poodle from the Village Cake Shop. This was our first toy poodle and she came along with the Village Cake Shop and then the toy poodle family. So I'm gonna move this. This is the new Lakeside Lodge. Not a huge fan of it, but I got it super cheap and we've got the fairy babies on there. And underneath we have the tree schoolhouse or treehouse school, uh, whatever it's called, uh, the newest school. Super cool set. It has a removable little tree component, these beautiful doors, and that's a two-story tree with a one-story uh, schoolhouse. So I put one of these floor pieces as a divider. Here is the seaside restaurant on the other side of it. And these are just set up this way for the video. My goal was to fit as many buildings as possible. Um, it was really hard. I used that uh, floor piece from the grocery market and I tried to basically get as many on here as I could. <laughs> so here are the fairy tale friends. This is an adorable little set kind of like the seven dwarves with different uh, styles of critters. Very cute and here are the vegetable costume babies. This one is an eggplant and his hat is not with us but he is a woodbrook or she is a woodbrook beaver. Very cute little eggplant outfit. And then we also have the marshmallow mouse styled as a tomato <laughs> with little tomatoes on the ears and the milk bunny as a squash, I think. And we have the yellow Labradors. Mine are the calico critter version, lovely little matching dresses. And then this little Labrador came with this lakeside lodge. And then we have back here the polar bear fa uh, family, the Easy Buy polar bears. Although in the U.S. they don't call them Easy Buy, they're just called polar bears. I am really not a fan of these outfits, um, the Easy Buy style outfits. But we also have the Polaris polar bears. These are uh, 2015 UK. So amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. They have a slightly uh, more of a cream color and a slightly different mold than the Easy Buy ones. And then here are the Chocolate Labradors. These are really unique and I had a hard time finding them, but I was able to get them recently. These are the 2014 version from the UK. Very beautiful. I Look at those corduroy pants. You don't see that very often at all. And then she has a, a different dress. I'm not sure I like the orange ribbon there, but it, at least it matches the dad's vest. And I think his vest is super cute. I think the orange really pops. It looks like retro. This is just a super cool, unique family. All right, so what else do we have? Let me show you some of these buildings really quick. Behind here we have the boutique and next to it, the country clinic. These buildings are very similar in style. And then the pizza uh, parlor above it with the pizza hedgehog and a bunch of hedgehog babies. We have two sets of the seated and crawling. And then here are the village store owners uh, with the Harvey cats. These are, uh, their markings are really beautiful and their colors like kind of bluish. This one is actually a Fisher cat. This is from the USA and Spain uh, world travelers, I think. Um, so slightly different markings. And then she is also a Harvey cat, a sports fun set. And then over here we have the Hawthorne mice. This one is the Katie and Maisie set, and then this is the family. And you can see that the Katie and Maisie one is different from the Hawthorne mother. Slightly different color, and of course has the gripping hands. 
So those are the Hawthorne mice, and they are standing in front of the toy shop. This is a very beautiful building, and it's on top of the Vintage Bakery from the 90s. One of my all-time most favorite sets. I especially love the staircase and that big window that wraps around. And you can even see some detailing on the window. Like, they, it's got plastic in all the windows. Super cool. So to honor the vintage theme, we have the Wildwood Rabbits standing on the bakery. These are the only Wildwood figures we have, other than the uh, fairy tale friend. Uh, we have the parents, and I think they are from 1987. At least that's what it, it stated on the uh, listing. But they might be from 2003, because I later found that the boxes they were in were the same boxes from a 2003 release. And then we have our cow family. I got these uh, from Japan. Uh, they are the 2019 version. And the Goldback Hamsters. This is one of our older ones. This came from the UK, uh, 2014. He's got a super cute little hat on. And these are a petite uh, little family, just like the Chihuahuas. The Chihuahuas are a little shorter than other critters. And you can see the mother and father have different color, uh, different styles of markings, and the brother and sister. But they're just so dainty and super, super cute. And here is the baby. This baby actually came from a different uh, release. And then the candy wagon. Got a couple different wagons here, like a little farmer's market kind of setup. But I love this set. It's so, so detailed. There are so many little bits and pieces that come out. Look at that teeny, tiny little candy. And we have managed not to lose a single piece. My husband was commenting the other day on just how careful and good our kids are about playing with these sets. And they do play with them. They play with them all the time. And we just managed to keep the pieces together. So here are Fennec Foxes. Uh, this is two sets. We have uh, the sister with the uh, baby. And then the parents came with uh, the twins. And over here we've got the popcorn cart. And then here are the little babies that came with the Fennec Fox family. And you can see that they have two different kinds of, of styles as well. The darker and the lighter color. So isn't that nice? And moving on to the hedgehogs. Uh, this is another very, very old family. Of course, ours is newer. Ours came from uh, the Calico Critters 2015 release. Look how cute they are. They're so, uh, their hair is just so fuzzy and big and uh, very, very cool. And over here are the Osborne Bears. Uh, this one came with the donut shop. Uh, we got her long before we got the family. And she is pushing the little uh, bakery cart there. And then we have the family. This is mother. And here is the sister that came with a school lunch set. We have yet to collect the rest of the kind of school sets that came with figures, but we do have that one. We have father with his little overalls and sister and brother back there having some treats. Very nice little family. And little brother came with a, a hamburger here, <laughs> which is kind of random, but, but very cool. And this little, uh, cupcake came with the fennec fox picnic and here we have the baby bears these came in various nursery sets and blind bags over here is the hospital otherwise known as the cottage hospital or general hospital it's not set up uh, completely with all the accessories but we did put the little um, pharmacy medicines and stuff in the cabinet so that's cute and I have the reception set furniture in here as well. So we'll get that set up at some point. And here we have Dr. Murdoch. Um, this set came out between 2002 and 2006. I'm not sure exactly when. And Nurse Nightingale came in a wheelchair set that actually came with this hospital that I bought secondhand. And the rabbit is sitting in the wheelchair. She is a milk rabbit. This is one of two milk rabbit families that we have the first of them, and I absolutely love their outfits. And these are the triplets. Uh, these are brand new. They came out last year. And over here we have the different kind of medical set uh, milk rabbits, the doctor, dentist, and nurse. And then over here is the brand new milk rabbit family. 
Just stunning. Oh my gosh. These critters are getting better and better. The critters are not getting worse, even though I feel like the sets are in a lot of ways getting worse. The critters are not. They're just as amazing as ever, if not better. I mean, look at this amazing milk rabbit family. I love it, love it, love it. And that is a beautiful note to end on as far as the critters. Uh, they are standing in front of the blue terrace home. And that is everything. So I'm going to go wrap around the table one more time, and then I'm going to pull together some different clusters of critters and then show you all the different styles, how much variety of calico critters there are that we have. And this won't even scratch the surface of what's out there. I mean, this is such an extensive line of toys. It's so unbelievable. And we have so many more to collect. I mean, we have like 25 years worth of families uh, yet to collect. So that's super exciting. Um, over here, by the way, are the Red Roof uh, homes. I kind of clustered them all together. Um, and this is the older of the carport homes. So they all stack together and it looks really cool. This is not, again, how our uh, layout's going to stay. We've got all the town buildings kind of over here stack two of the department stores together. It's a long story, but we ended up with an extra free department store, so that's cool. So if there's anything here that you saw that you want to see more of an up-close video on or any ideas you have for future videos, let me know. This one took a long time to shoot and edit, um, but future ones will be coming out hopefully at a faster clip, so stay tuned for that. So let me show you what else we have real quick. These are our different uh, fabric bins full of furniture, and there are lots of different sets there. These are vehicles. The vehicles which are not on the table are down here. We have a few duplicates, but most are unique. I think my favorite is the pink picnic car. We've got some nursery things, and these are some things I could not fit on the table. And then in here we have our, all of our little pieces, and I'm going to get one of those little organizers uh, with all the different little trays to better organize these because it's kind of out of hand. And then here I've got the, a bunch of accessories I, I need to put back, a bunch of lights, and um, these are specific sets um, at the bottom drawer. And then over here I've got like the different uh, building components, like all the ladders in one place, and different railings all in here. And that kind of makes it easier. So when I'm doing setups, they're all kind of consolidated. And these are uh, bits of clothing that came out of the bags that the critters were stored in. All right, so let me show you a few different groups of critters that we have. So here are all of our open hand uh, Tomy or flare figures that have the gripping style of hand. These are still unopened, and I would really love to have more with the gripping hand. And I really wish the figures all had the gripping hand. Uh, that would be so convenient. But yeah, this is it. And now I'm going to take you through our oldest types of critters, whether they're actually that old or the original one was that old. If it's bold, that means that it's as old as the original. Um, so this cat, for example, the first Fisher cat was in 2007. We've got the nurse from 2006, and the Chantilly cat, originally from 05, the Nona Hana rabbits from 2004, Dr. Murdoch, uh, 2002 to 2006, and then the Milk rabbits, 2002, McCavity cats, 2000, the Cottontail rabbits are from 1999. Mulberry raccoons, uh, the grandparents are from 2010, but the original mulberries are from earlier. The bamboo pandas, 1992. The hedgehogs, originally from 1991. The urban life ducks, 1988. They changed the name, but they, they, the new ones are identical to the original urban life ones. The waters beavers, 1988. The skunks uh, originally from 1987, although back then their tails were different. And the wildwoods, I wish I knew if these were originally from 87 or if we have the slightly older ones. And the moles from 1985. 
And those are the oldest types of figures that we have. So I'm going to show you all the different molds and designs of all the critters we have, starting with the cats, just to illustrate how much variety there is just in like the last 10 years. And you'll see like the tuxedo and midnight cats are all slightly different. There are two different styles of the new Persian cat plus the teak Persian cat and another Persian cat style that we don't have. There is just so much variety. It's really unbelievable. It's remarkable. That's one of the reasons I love Sylvanian so much is all the variety. Even among the same molds, there's so many different styles. This is the uh, lion. I guess that counts as a cat. And then look, the Sandy Striped and the Harvey versus the Fisher cats. These two, I think, are the same mold, but they're two different colors. These are super unique, the uh, Scottish Fold Maple Cats. Beautiful, very different. So lots of different types of cats that we have. And bunnies, we have a lot of different bunnies too. These are the new ones that we haven't opened yet, but they are almost identical to the Marguerite, except for the muzzle. The Marguerite are one of my most favorite bunnies. We have the Sunny Rabbit color, which is like an ochre color with a little pink in the ear. Of course, the Lavender is white with the lavender tip. And the Milk Rabbit and Wildwood. And we've got the Snow. And back there is the Nightingale, which is like a, a medium brown. And then the Cinnamon Rabbit has a different kind of ear than the Chocolate. We've got the cottontail versus the sea breeze, which are slightly different. So lots of variation even among the bunnies, and we don't even have them all. <laughs> lots of different dogs, too. And I noticed with the dogs, we have a lot more of the uh, multiple designs within one breed. So you see, like, the um, chihuahuas and the French bulldogs. There's different colors for the, the males and females. These are two different uh, families. We've got the chocolate and the yellow, and then uh, different uh, molds here. They're all so unique. They're all different shapes and textures and colors. Here the huskies have uh, two different uh, colors and patterns. Same with the uh, farthing or maroon dogs. They're slightly different, so that's really cool. So those are all our different types of dogs. These are exotic or like non-North American animals. We have the sloth and the guinea pig, which of course is a popular pet in North America. We have two elephants. Uh, so this quadrant would be African uh, animals. We have the trunk style with the pink and then the easy buy style, which is all one color. The hedgehog, so cute. So many different styles of uh, all of these unique animals. You've got the giraffe, the monkey, and the meerkat. And then here in the front, we have our Arctic or cold weather animals, of course, the penguin, and two different brown bears, and then the polar bear, which of course is from the Arctic. And we have two different polar bears, and they both have different molds. The Polaris one has slightly smaller ears and a much brighter color. Uh, the Easy Buy has the brighter color. And then we have the sea otter. So these are our Asian or Australian critters. And we have the other sea otters, the Neptune ones. And then we have the red panda from Asia. So gorgeous. Two actual pandas, two different styles of panda. And then our Australian koala and kangaroo. So quite a bit of variety in our non-native to me animals. Oh, and the reindeer, I forgot to point out, are two different colors for the male and female. And these are the farm animals or North American native animals. We've got our ducks and sheep. Goat, again, she is probably my favorite or one of my favorite critters. It's so hard to pick a favorite because I love them all. We've got calves. So these are different. One has the horns and uh, the other doesn't. We've got alpaca and deer, all different. Of course, the goats, the male and female, are different. Over on this side, we have more of the like like rodents or farm and or field animals, I would say. So there's some beavers, the mold. These beavers are unique, different colors. And hamster, we've got a skunk, a squirrel, and a raccoon. 
And uh, they could have gotten away with having the same mold, but they, they still use different ones. Three different mice here. Although the two Hawthorns are technically Hawthorns, they are different. Uh, they look different. Now these are going to be replica or duplicates of other styles that we've seen, but these are all of our town series critters that are specific to the town series. So there are quite a few, and we don't even have them all. Uh, we are missing the poodle older sister, and um, oh gosh, I think we're missing we're missing a few others. But I think we have most of the town uh, series critters. And I'm so glad I ended up getting into collecting the town series because at first I felt that the buildings were a little too bright and maybe too small or colorful for my taste. But the figures are amazing. And I've come to really love the buildings too. They're just different. But oh my gosh, look at this. Look at her dress. I mean, look at all these different, beautiful, amazing outfits. They're so well coordinated and stylish. I just love them all. So those are all of our town series figures and I will quickly show you all of our babies and then I think that'll be a wrap. So these in the front are our little tiny ones and all of these are unique designs and molds. There are no duplicates here. You can see even the little mini huskies are unique from each other. And this one here is our only one with closed eyes. So we've got one of each of every kind of baby. And I only put out this seated or crawling if it's our only one of that type. Just so many different styles. Isn't it just amazing? Even the reindeer, you see they have unique colors between the boy and the girl. Little alpaca, little ducklings, two different kinds of ducklings actually. Got our little hedgehog. We only have the one type of elephant. And I took the little hats off the fairy tale friends so you could see their ears better. Pandas, koala, little polar bear. And you see two different kinds of toy poodles there. One is the Halloween one. Isn't it that cute? So cute. And two little uh, French bulldog styles. We even have a little maroon dog and a little husky baby. So many babies. Oh, and of course the polar bear, the Polaris polar bear that is still in the package. So this is the entire collection. These are 99% uh, of all of our critters, pretty much all of our buildings. Now all of the little sets are gonna be very difficult to pull out and show individually but you can see a lot of the different furniture and sets kind of mixed around. And we have a lot of other ones uh, in drawers, but I'll be taking different sets out here and there as we go along. Well, thank you for watching. It has been such a joy putting this video together and I'm sorry it, it took so long, but hopefully my next video will be up a lot quicker. And I appreciate all of you and your wonderful comments and all of your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.